You get what I'm saying? Right, right. And and I kind of want to like touch base. You, you're talking about this system. So a lot. My first job was uh, McDonald's. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with McDonald's. Absolutely you not. You have money coming in. Exactly. Let me let me let me shout out to uh, Jamie Lydia, aka Debo. He was a guest on uh, Auto Nation on my YouTube channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, he said it best. I mean, this dude is is gold, man. With yeah. his knowledge, yeah. uh, um, he basically said, "Take the same transition, the the knowledge from the streets, yeah, and put it into corporate America." Exactly. Exactly. So know your product. Know your. Uh, you know, because you, you might yeah. need re-up money. If you ain't got no re-up money, no bond money, no lawyer money, yeah. then what are you doing? So when I bring up McDonald's, I know people that worked there for four years and now are making maybe about 60K because they're like yeah. GMs. Exactly, and exactly. I would and, rather and, make 60K than making yeah. no fucking money. You know but but I mean? you know what, though? I, I, I never knock nobody's... Nobody's grind. Right. You know, everybody has to start somewhere. And like what what I'll tell anybody, if you can work at McDonald's, right, and make 60K a year, then you can work anywhere. Right. Like, but I'm going to tell you what you have to discover in working for a place like McDonald's. Right. McDonald's is a revolving door. It is. So if you stick around long enough... Right. You're going to rise to the top. If you come to work every day, you work hard, you're dedicated, you're highly motivated. When everybody else is on smoke breaks and won't come back to work on time, if you're where you need to be doing what you're supposed to do, the cream is going to rise to the top. Exactly. Uh, so, no, like, I wouldn't, like, this is what I don't want people to think when we're, when, you know, we're talking about entrepreneurship. At one point in my career, I'm going to have people who work for me. Exactly. And there are some people who will be okay with working for me. But what we have to change is I want those people to be to feel the most needed. Yes. I want them to be the most appreciated and I want them to be the most taken care of. Right. Because what we have to understand as business owners, as entrepreneurs, as managers, as supervisors, without the the worker ant is the most important part right. of the colony, bro. Right, 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 right. Like, and sometimes they all serve the queen. Exactly, they all have a role. Exactly, that the queen without the worker ant is nothing. She has nothing to be a queen over. Nah. So I. <laughs> Like, I don't want anybody to think that we're downing people who work for a living. That's not what I'm, that's not what we're here to do. Like, I just want you to know that if there's anything, if you have a dream to work in corporate America, if you have a dream to go from a bank teller to a, a loan originator, like, don't die on that dream. But also, we want you to know that, look, Beyond just being a bank teller or a loan originator, like it is a possibility that you can have your own bank. Right. Like I don't want anybody to it's limit. Not easy. Exactly. Nothing, I don't want nothing in life that is worthwhile. <laughs> is is gonna come easy? What this man is doing, he started a business. For all my business owners, this is just a little, this is a little jewel. If you start a business in the fourth quarter, expect. Adversity.